the techniques of blacksmithing and welding. Takes an artistic turn as Jamil Donath tells us about the talents of one Northwoods metal sculpture for this week's In Focus. It's nitty, it's gritty, it's art. Metal worker and metal sculptor Paula Jensen welds, hammers, I'm making it square first, and drills hunks of metal into beautiful works of art. You wouldn't even know what it's going to be by the time I'm done when I start out. She started off as a painter, but when Jensen's husband taught her how to use the tough techniques of welding and blacksmithing, she ditched her easel for an anvil. It's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But the transition from fine art to forging wasn't easy. But after a few meltdowns, Jensen eventually molded into a well-rounded medalist. When you first start off, you feel like you're all thumbs. And it's just, it was just practice. So I'm going to try my hand at a technique called forging. Just going to keep hitting it. So this is where the term strike when the iron's hot comes in. Because once it gets cold, can't use it anymore and you have to warm it back up. I'm going to try to make the hook now. And there you have it, a hook. So it looks like I passed the first step to becoming a blacksmith. Jensen also started off mostly forging her artwork as a metalsmith, but now she is focusing more on her sculpting skills. This copper owl is Jensen's most recent sculpting project. She's been working on it since last fall. And with such fine details, only carving will cut it. I'll take the Dremel with a, with a carbide bit and I literally carve the lines into it. After years of experience, this metal master says she is far from being perfect. But however imperfect Jensen claims to be, even she still manages to surprise herself. I'll step back and I'll go. Wow, I made that. <laughs> and when you can turn scraps into sculptures, who wouldn't be amazed? For this week's In Focus, Jamil Donneth, Lakeland News.